Scott Ramirez, your host of Stand Out and Grow. I want to help your business stand out, survive, succeed, and grow. Building your business is really, really hard. And knowing what marketing and advertising tools you need to help you become successful is extremely confusing. After 30 years of working with thousands of businesses, I am here to help you make good business decisions. I want to help you understand the programs that are available to you so that you can stand out, survive, succeed, and grow. So let's get started. Hey there, this is Kat, and this is your Marketing Minute. Today, I want to talk to you about the probably most horrid word everybody wants to hear, Uh, or maybe they don't even want to hear it. Right. The impending recession, you know, although some might argue that we are currently in a recession right now, and uh, some people will argue that we're going into a recession. Regardless, when you are um, reading the trades and you're hearing thought leaders talk about that there is an impending recession and a lot of it has to do do with interest rates keep going up and up and up. So uh, ultimately, all of this will have an effect, right? And when it, <laughs> anytime it affects your bottom line, your good old dollar, uh, something devastating usually uh, happens from that. So what I want to talk about is what are some things that you can do to help offset that or prepare yourself or, um, you know, just kind of be forward thinking and, and think about as your preparedness of how can I manage this? What can I do? First thing you need to do is look at all your expenses. That's the first thing. You can talk to an accountant. You can talk to an attorney. You can talk to a business coach, whoever. The first thing they're going to tell you is to look at your expenses. Now, when you look at them, look at them with a fine tooth comb because those expenses that you can eliminate are um Let's say that you can replace with either manual labor or some other type of alternative. When you look at expenses, don't just cut out expenses and hope that your business will still run, you know, simultaneously and, and effortlessly. If you cut out an expense and this expense was something that was part of your process or your system, know how you're going to replace it or how you're going to do things differently. So don't just cut out expenses to cut expenses. You really need to analyze and evaluate the expenses that you want to cut out. And you also want to analyze and evaluate the expenses you want to keep. You know, are those really, you know, expenses that you know, either A, you can't live without, or B, um, like there's no other replacement. You have to pay for this. This has to be part of your uh, financial system, right? So looking at expenses is probably key. A number one, and you can start doing that now. Just start doing it now. Just look at all, fine tune it. Look at all the things that you're spending money on that has some kind of effect on your business or related to your business and see what can you cut out, right? And then the other thing that you can do besides that is people always talk about, you know, when a recession or bad times come, the first thing that they want to, and I have to bring this up, please. First thing they want to talk about is they talk about cutting marketing. Why, and I think, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you stop telling people who you are, what you do, and how to get a hold of you? That makes no sense because that's what's going to keep you in business is reminding people who you are, what you do, and how to get a hold of you, even during a recession. Because at the end of the day, there's still food, uh, food, <laughs> there's still money being, there's still money being spent. Okay. And so there are still businesses that still have a need or uh, clients or whomever, if you're B2B or B2C, there are people who still have a need to buy. Okay. So regardless of what's happening, because you're cutting out the expenses to help eliminate some, you know, things that maybe you don't need and it's going to help, you know, streamline or, you know, tighten up things. And then the second thing is, you know, think about as far as, you know, what are you going to do to keep your name out there? Probably even a little more, right? 
And that way people do find you and you have that constant messaging of who you are, what you do and how to get a hold of you. Because, you know, if you think about it from the big picture or the outward looking in, you don't ever want to cut that expense where it, which is the marketing one where it's reminding people every day who you are, what you do and how to get a hold of you. That's not one that you want to cut out. That is one you want to keep in and that's one you want to pump up because at the end of the day, people will still be spending money. You just won't get that money because you cut marketing out. So think about that. And it's one of the biggest mistakes people make when we have bad times, adversity, you know, recession, whatever. It's one of the biggest mistakes people make is they cut out marketing because they say, I don't need that. Yeah, you do. You need it even more. During bad times, you need it more because you want to speak louder and talk to the people who are spending money because you have to remind them who you are, what you do, and how to get a hold of you. And for the fact that you're not closing your doors, you're still in business. So for those people who want to cut back marketing, I'm going to tell you that I would take a long, hard thought on that because that's not the way to go. That is absolutely not the way to go. And so think about that as you think about your business and you think about, you know, what we're going into and what's happening, you know. And again, I just will reiterate, cut expenses. Look at your expenses. And marketing is not an expense. It should never be an expense. That is an investment. That's part of your business model. Just like um, you have to pay your rent, just like you have to pay your car payment, just like you have to pay your water bill. Your marketing for your company is the same. Because you can't stop telling people who you are, what you do, and how to get a hold of you. Okay, I think I pretty much pounded that in for you on how you can prepare for a recession. Hey, I'm Kat Ramirez, CEO and founder of Advertise, hashtag social buzz, and uh, 10x business broker. Man, I'm just like loopy today. Uh, Follow me and learn more ways on how you can stand out and grow. You got this. I promise you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Stand Out and Grow. Check out all the notes and links at www.standoutandgrow.com. I am so thankful to you for helping this show continue to grow. I want to keep producing content that you want to hear, so please leave me some feedback. I look forward to bringing you more resources and information to help your business stand out and grow. Please follow us on social media and make sure you follow this podcast so you can learn more about helping your business stand out, survive, succeed, and grow. Until next time, you got this. Advertise helps businesses stand out and grow with affordable advertising options. We will help you make good business decisions so you can save money and not just throw it against the wall to see if it sticks. Get your free strategic advertising analysis today so you can see the opportunities to stand out and grow your business. Visit www.standoutandgrow.com offers page to learn more.